I'm gonna go ahead and show you what $600 can I get you here from one of the best hotels in all over the Philippines. From luxury rooms, incredible pools, and some of the best food I've ever had in my life. I'm gonna be here for the next 24 hours and the timer starts right now. Let's go. Let's go ahead and let's check in. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'll be asking for a passport, please. There you go, sir. So while they go ahead and sort out my check-in, let me show you what the reception looks like. So we have a piano right there. And you actually have someone playing it live at the moment. How cool is this? Come on, that? Okay, Lang? Wow, that's pretty cool, man. And as you can see, this reception is absolutely massive. Look at the chandeliers. Look at the glass, literally from floor to the ceiling. And over here, we have the Ferris wheel as well. But anyway, while they go ahead and sort out my check in, even have uh, access to the executive lounge so let's go ahead and see what that place is like this hotel is a lot bigger than i thought yeah <laughs> they actually have more rooms and more places over there where you can go to how many rooms is in this hotel we have around 340 rooms here. wow and how long have you been working here oh i'm just an intern here actually oh you're just training yeah i amazing. started last march amazing how are you finding it it's fun i'm jd jd yeah. nice to meet you i'm ali learning your Tagalog very fast. Konti lang, konti lang. I just know how to order Jollibee basically. Yeah. <laughs> That's important. Yeah, no exactly. order. <laughs> so before we go ahead and get started on the food, let me show you what this executive lounge looks like. Pretty nice. We got a bunch of magazines over here. Some uh, cool figurines, some vases. And you can't beat this view. Look at this. So we have the pool over there, some sun lounges, and of course that beautiful architecture. And you cannot forget about the Manila Bay. It has to be mentioned, minus points straight away. We've got CNN. No, thank you. <laughs> right now it's checking time. We are in room 4061, which is just over this way. So let's go ahead and let's see what this room is like. <laughs> oh my God, look at this room. <laughs> wow, so there's actually two separate rooms by the looks of it. So I guess let's get started with this room. Let me go ahead and show you the view. So this of course is the Manila Bay right here. We've got a Ferris wheel. We've got some fun fair rides over there. A beautiful street lined up with trees but guys look at this room let's go ahead and uh, let's see what the room is like oh, 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 oh my god look at this absolutely massive bed beautiful sitting down area we've got blinds uh let's see oh okay here we go oh, look at this <laughs> automatic blinds how cool is this man let's go ahead and test out this bed so let me take my shoes off and uh wow this bed is actually high <laughs> oh, yes. oh. all right let's test out the bed <laughs> oh yes nice comfortable bed oh. and let's see what the pillows are like oh. Oh, look at this. Wow, look at this bathroom, man. So you have uh, two huge mirrors over here. And what do we have? We have a soap bar, body lotion. I see some two dots. I see some sort of screen. I don't know if this is a TV or something. It could be. Oh, it looks like this rotates as well. Yes, yes, yes. Big tub. And look at this that is a fancy looking bath right here let's go ahead and uh, test out this thing a little bit small if i have to be honest it would have been nice if it was uh maybe a foot longer but to be honest with you i don't use baths at all they just look pretty and again this view man how amazing is this what's this is this a jet all right, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna see if I don't get wet somehow. Okay, cool. So that's that one. All right. Oh no, my socks. Are... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well. Oh man. Alright, well. <laughs> yeah. Fuck around and find out. And we definitely found out. <laughs> Is this milk? Oh. I think this is water. Is this? Let's see. Yeah, it's water. Look at that. How fancy is this? I usually, uh, I don't know, I see them in plastic, or if it's a really fancy hotel, it's in glass, but carton, that's a new one for me. We've got a mini fridge over here. Oh, yes. Things are looking good for old Ali. Let's see. So we have uh, a beer, haram, another beer, haram, another beer, haram, and some sort of wine. We've got a Coke, Sprite, coconut water. Ooh, look at this. Hershey. We've got a Kit Kat. And, uh, ah, this is nice, man. We've got fresh creamer none of that powdered uh, coffee creamer man this is i love seeing this man this is a really really nice touch oh my god wow look at all of this uh, oh wow <laughs> brandon's on point huh <laughs> did you make this uh yourself uh no <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> wow look at this now that is a first class service that is incredible Perfect timing, I was just showing the room as well. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Enjoy the That is incredible. So I've actually been trying to sit down somewhere for five minutes to find a good camera angle. And I think this is actually the best camera angle right on the floor. So let me go ahead and show you what these desserts look like. <laughs> they look great, man. And uh, just over here, we have a Conrad sign. I think this is edible. Mmm, that is. Oh, nice. Beautiful, uh, really, really creamy white chocolate. And I guess let's go ahead and I don't know, maybe start with this one. This is the best looking one. Some sort of biscuit underneath it. And you have a delicious looking meringue, nice and toasted. Let's give it a try. Oh, man. Mm. I thought this thing is going to be nice and hard. But it's actually even better. It's nice and squishy. Mm. Mm. Let's go ahead and see what this one's like. I think this is some sort of tiramisu, some sort of chocolate or coffee. And look at this. You even have a little bit of gold leaf on top. This looks beautiful, man. I honestly feel bad eating this. It looks so damn good. But let's give it a try. Mm. Last but not least. Look at how pretty this coconut looks, man. You even have a little umbrella on top of it. So we don't have a straw. So let's see. Hopefully this doesn't end up making me wet like that shower did. Let's give it a try. Oh, man. Whew, that's exactly what I needed, man. So I've just been sitting here for a while. Just looking at this beautiful view. It looks like the sun is about to set in maybe an hour or two. And of course, we still have that beautiful ferris over there. And I think if you come in to stay in this hotel, it kind of would be criminal if you just stayed in the hotel for the whole day. I mean, don't get me wrong. The room's absolutely beautiful. The hotel is beautiful as well. But I think we have to go over there and start exploring this area as well. So let's go downstairs and let's walk all the way up there and see what this bay is like. Let's go. So here we are. We literally just made it to the outside area. And look at how cool this looks, huh? We have fountains over here. The hotel is literally right over here. The Ferris wheels is there. And uh, Manila Bay is right here. And look at all of these people. I believe this is a Go With Ali subscriber meetup. <laughs> Everyone stand up, man. Everyone stand up. They knew I was going to be in town. So 
Look how cool this looks, man. The main reason we are here, of course, is to go on that Ferris wheel. So let's go ahead and hopefully that way we can catch the sunset. I think we've got about another hour or so. So by the time we're on it, I think we should have a really nice view. So let's go. Hello, como esta? Uh, can I get one VIP ticket? Thank you. So by the looks of it, everyone here is with their spouse, with their mistress, with their girlfriend, with their Tinder date. Honestly, I don't really know, but I am here on my own. So <laughs> I guess let's go ahead and wait for our capsule to come. Oh yes, VIP, let's go. Hello, sir. Come on, sir. Okay, Lang? Ice Lang. This is safe? Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. Oh, look at this. There is a glass floor. Oh my god, this is actually quite scary. So we have a bench over here, another bench over here. Obviously, the air conditioning unit and a small door. And I guess somewhere to hold on to um, if you was getting really scared, which I probably will be very soon. <laughs> now, <laughs> I am actually holding my breath. Something which you'll notice is this thing is actually rocking back and forth ever so slightly. So I am being as still as I can. <laughs> and I am holding on stronger and stronger to this thing. Not like it's gonna do anything, but uh, yeah, I feel like I am somehow safer. And there you go, there's the beautiful hotel behind me. So nice, huh? Absolutely beautiful. And here we go, the view's getting even nicer and nicer of the little Oh my god. Woo! Look at this view. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I am actually shitting it right now. I am. Oh, <laughs> I just looked down. <laughs> We're not even halfway up, we're like a quarter way up. Oh my God. Guys, look at me, I am absolutely sweating. And uh, honestly, it's not that hot. We have an aircon right here. But uh, <laughs> you just look forward. It's actually really, really nice. You have the sun, the Manila Bay, you got the ships there in the background. Now we are about, I don't know, 20 meters, maybe 30 meters up in the air. And you can see people right underneath me walking past enjoying that beautiful view. <laughs> right now I can breathe again. So honestly the only thing I would say that I didn't enjoy is that whole bit in the middle. So getting on was nice, getting off was nice. It's just that five minutes in the middle. <laughs> that wasn't nice, that was scary. But now I feel good and I'm glad we did it. Honestly, I'll probably go ahead and watch you on this video and let you know how it was because honestly I had no idea. I pretty much had my eyes closed all the time. No, no. Ah, salamat po. It was scary. No. It was scary. <laughs> look, look I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> salamat po. Salamat. All right, here we go. <sighs> Believe me, I, it, was, it was scary. <laughs> but not delicado. It was safe. It was okay. safe. Salamat po. Salamat. <laughs> Oof, man. Glad to be back on Earth. Honestly, I'd kiss this floor right now if it did not smell like... Uh... Guys, let's be honest. Manila Bay smells like absolute liquid ass. The sun is now going down and this is what the hotel looks like. It looks so nice in that sunset. You got trees everywhere. You got Buffalo Wide Wings. You got Hard Dog Cafe. And of course, the sign over there. And look at all these down lights everywhere. And something which I really like as well is we are literally right next to the mall and it's actually connected by a skywalk way as well. So that's pretty cool as well, man. So we have a secret passageway from our hotel, literally right into the mall. And look at this mall. Oh my God, this is like super high luxury mall. Everything is nice and shiny. Look at these little, little, absolutely massive statues, wherever they are. But well, whatever you do, do not stand underneath them. <laughs> so I believe this is the name of the mall, SM Mation. Sorry? Bawal po mag-vlog. I can't understand. Dito. No vlog. No vlog, eh? Yeah. Why not? No, no permit. Permit? Yeah. To take a picture? Yeah. The video. Video not, not possible. Why not? You can go to our... Okay. Who do I ask? Admin. Yeah. Please. Who? Okay, can you show me? Okay.
So that was quite silly. So obviously I got stopped by a security guard. Apparently there's no filming over here for whatever reason. But I went and spoke to the uh, administration of the hotel and they said there's absolutely no problem. So let's go ahead and let's get started again on this uh, mall tour. And yeah, as I was saying, this mall is quite nice. So as you can see, we have huge statues over here, beautiful marble everywhere and awesome displays over here as well. There is my man, I think. Is that a different security guard? Let's see, if we get stopped, I guess we get stopped again. But uh, yeah, I just asked for permission and they said, yeah, go film, go do whatever you want. I'm not doing anything crazy. Anyway, let's carry on. All good, yeah? All good. We made peace, yeah? We made peace. There you go, peace. <laughs> okay, okay, like. <laughs> All right, there you go. No, no hard feelings, that's it. <laughs> The manager's doing his job, so I can't say anything to him. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, so the main reason which I actually wanted to come here is to go ahead and show you the awesome view from here. So we have a nice little balcony which overlooks Manila Bay and you have the mountains, all the hills in the background and the forest here. So let's go ahead and check it out as well. Look at this. So we actually have another, I believe it's called Sea Bay View, something along those lines in our hotel as well, which I'll show you later. But I wanted to show you this one here. This is part of the mall, which is quite nice. So again, as you can see, we are overlooking Manila Bay, beautiful sunset, and of course the Ferris wheels as well. Honestly, nice little mall. And the perfect thing about it is you don't even need to go outside. You have a corridor from the hotel directly into the mall and vice versa. So pretty awesome, but let's head back the side to the moon. So here we go, a quick shower later and a fresh shirt on. Let's go ahead and let's see what this China Blue restaurant is like. I heard so many good things about it. The reviews are absolutely incredible as well. So uh, I'm really looking forward to this. And here we go, China Blue by Jumaine Long. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Uh, I have a reservation for one? Oh, how did you know? <laughs> Oh, amazing. I get the booth? Yes, sir. Wow, incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you. For two persons, right? Uh, no, just for myself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure, done. I'm single. <laughs> I'll be your friend for tonight. Oh, amazing. <laughs> You'll join me. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Please enjoy. Nice to meet okay. you, sir. Nice to Thank meet you. Thank you just for a moment for your sparkling water. Thank you, time, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Give you an introduction about them. Yes, please. I was sir. literally going to ask you the same thing. I have okay. no idea what to order. Sure, tell me. So, actually, do you have any dietary restrictions? Uh, just no pork and no bacon. No pork and no bacon. Yeah. Okay. Everything so maybe, else goes. Maybe we'd like to try this one. Which the one? pear shaped dumplings. So this one is smoked up with mushrooms inside. Perfect. That's three pieces already. That sounds great. Sure, you're telling me, sir. Let's do that. Then, how about soup? Would you like to have soup, sir? Uh, is there one that you recommend? Okay. So for the soup, sir, allow me to show this to you. Maybe the chicken milk soup will do, sir. Okay. Chicken milk soup or the superior crab roll soup with sea cucumber. How about beef? You're, you're fine beef I'm beef? good with. Yeah, yeah, okay. absolutely. So I think this the beef tenderloin is perfect for you, sir. This is this actually what you guys are famous for, right? Yeah, the beef tenderloin. So basically, this is a signature dishes that we have here. Wow, this one So here? this one is the beef tenderloin oh, oh, oh. fried with a yunnan pepper. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You must try that. <laughs> 100%, yes. This looks so good. Thank you so much. If it looks half as good as that, when it comes, I'm going to be very I'm happy. I'm pretty sure you're going to like it, sir. Amazing. Okay. okay. Oh man, this is first class service. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. That's incredible. Thank you, Thank so you sir. Thank you, Pleasure, sir. Thank you. Bye. Guys, look at this. Wow. So I believe, honestly, I did not, like, I, I was struggling to listen to uh, Josh because uh, this food honestly looks incredible. So I believe it's fried pear. And he mentioned don't eat the stock. It's nice and warm nice and crunchy but look at how pretty this thing looks man look at that it looks like uh, some sort of christmas ball ball or something let's go ahead and give it a try oh oh my god look at this wow i think this is the truffles inside it oh my god this is so good, man. Honestly, no exaggeration. This is one of the best appetizers I've ever had in my life. And that is a testimony to how good the chef is. Absolutely incredible. Look at this. It is hot, 
it's boiling look at that steam coming off it and right underneath it you have a candle to keep it nice and warm as well and look at it man so this is the crab soup and you can absolutely see the crab in there there's a lot of times where I actually had crab soup but I couldn't taste the crab I couldn't see the crab I think the crab wasn't even anywhere close to it to be honest but this the crab is definitely in there <laughs> let's give it a try holy moly wow man you can taste the whole ocean in here so the more you dig in the more prizes that you get i believe this is a piece of corn or maybe a shrimp oh man look at this nice and meaty mm. nice and succulent it's just absolutely bursting with flavor from that soup man this is incredible man we are basically two for two the appetizer was delicious the soup took it up another level so this is the feast that we have in front of us i guess let me start from one corner look at this beautiful homemade rice noodles We've got some sesame seeds on top of it a little bit of a char grilled uh, vegetables as well and sliced beef oh, man. i am genuinely mouthful too just as i described this and over here look at how pretty this looks so we got some tenderloin absolutely beautiful man look at the grill marks on it nice and caramelized beautiful grilled onion as well a little bit of salad and look at this thing over here this looks like dessert huh but this is homemade tofu made right here let's give it a try oh. mm. you do not need any teeth to chew this thing let me go ahead and show you how easy it is to chew this thing up there a clean bite wow uh, let's go ahead and pick at this beauty so this is actually what they're really really famous for is their beef tenderloin and if you make beef that looks like this i'm sure you'll be a very famous person as well this is looking pretty good let's get a little bit of onion a little bit of beef and also a little bit of that sand. Let's give it a go. Yo. Oh, man. Mm. Let's go ahead and get a real chunk of that tofu. Look at that. Look how cleanly that slices through it. Let's give it a try. This is what tofu should be like. Guys, I've had tofu before. And honestly, I thought it was disgusting. Usually it's very harsh, tough, kind of really doesn't do anything, just kind of gets the soupy taste. But this, the tofu is the star of that dish. As good as that sauce is, as delicious as those toppings are, the absolute star of this dish is the tofu. And that's how it really should be, man. This is an award-winning dessert. Let me go ahead and show you what this thing looks like absolutely incredible man you got the sorbet in there you got the creamy white thing around it honestly no idea what that is and this is the ube stick nice and warm underneath my hand and it feels super nice and crunchy i'm gonna try the ube stick just by itself and then afterwards we have it with everything else it is literally just full of ube let's go ahead and let's see what this creamy deliciousness is like and let's get a little bit of that sorbet as well let's give it a try oh my god that tastes so nice and fresh the texture of that sorbet is really really nice as well man so if you look at it you would think it's uh, like hard ice cube or something but it's absolutely not it's, uh, it's kind of like a crushed ice ice cream and that creamy this around it it's just like a perfect compliment to it man mm. honestly some of the best food i've had in a very very long while man. so if you didn't know who the chef was jeremy leong i'm pretty sure i'm butchering his last name this is who the chef is a super famous chef uh, i believe he is one of the master chef judges in china and he is super famous i believe he's been cooking for over 17 years in china and singapore but now 
I'm lucky enough to have his food here in Honduras in the Philippines in Manila. So just to be fully transparent, the hotel actually ended up paying for that whole meal for me, which is really nice of them to be honest with you. They didn't have to, but they offered to do that. So of course I had to accept because <laughs> that would have been a really expensive meal. But regardless of that, I wanted to go ahead and uh, tip my man Josh. He has been absolutely incredible, super hospitable, super knowledgeable, and his recommendations has been absolutely spot on. But before we go ahead and head out of this restaurant, I wanted to go ahead and say thank you to the chefs as well. How are you, sir? Good, good, I good, have good. to shake your hands. Yeah, that good, food good. was absolutely delicious. How long have you been cooking? Uh, you mean when I start the culinary? Yeah. Since 19 years old, after the high school. Oh, wow, wow. Yes. Now long it's long a 47. Wow. More than 22 years. <laughs> <laughs> you could taste the experience in the food. Yeah, 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 of course. Yes, it was incredible. Yes. yes. Hello, say. Uh, I like to eat, of course. You like and to then, eat? Yeah, since when I have to, after high school. Yeah. My first job is a uh, canary. Yeah. And then I never change. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Well, I really like to eat your food as well. <laughs> it's so good. Thank you. Thank you again, sir. I thank really you, appreciate thank you. it. Thank you. It was incredible. Thank you for spending time with us. No, thank you. It's my pleasure to eat your food. Yeah. <laughs> thank you again, thank sir. You, you. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. That was dinner at China Blue, an award winning restaurant. And honestly, I can see why they are award winning. Absolutely incredible food. Service was on point. The chef was really awesome to speak to. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be sleeping very happily tonight. Let me just say that. This is our last stop of the day. Of course, it is the pool. And look at this beautiful pool, man. Right in the middle of all of the hotel. You have the palm trees over here, some more trees over there, surrounded by glass. And as well as that, we have an awesome bar area. This is actually quite nice. Like you would think it's not that private because obviously you're surrounded by windows and so on. But if you notice, literally every single blind is closed and also those windows are like, I don't know, 20 feet high or something. So you don't actually see anyone. This is not a normal head level or anything. Really, really awesome pool. And honestly, it's a lot bigger than I was expecting. Like, um, it's a quite compact area. So I thought the pool would be quite small, but as you can see, I don't know, I guess it's uh, Maybe 50, maybe 60 meters. Can I have one towel? Yes, sir, may I have your room number, please? Uh, 4061. And uh, register number? Uh, Ali, ALI. Oh, you're uh, the lifeguard as well? Ah, yeah. Oh, amazing. You can save me. I can't <laughs> swim. So. <laughs> really? Actually, it's all for kids. So. It's all for kids. It's just enough to drown it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and uh, let's pick out a good seat. So, by the looks of it, this one is already wet. Looks like someone squirted all over it. This one is taken. So I guess we'll go ahead and pick this one. Actually, this is quite nice. And uh, I guess if you're a couple, you can even go for this one. That's pretty nice as well. What is this? Does this go down? No, it doesn't go down. Can you imagine if that goes down? A lot of clapping will be happening there. Let's just say that. <laughs> Boom. Let's go ahead and see what this pool is like. I hope. It's not too hot from all these kids pissing inside it. Oh, it feels nice and cool actually. Exactly what you want, man. Right now it is, again, summertime in the Philippines and it is super hot, so this is nice and refreshing. And look at this crystal clear water. And actually it's not too deep. I think it's, uh, I don't know, 1.5, maybe 1.6. Maybe 1.4. I think usually 1.4 is uh, what they put these pools at. And mine, this looks even nicer when you are inside it because now you have the trees at your eye level. Guys, look at this. It is literally the world's worst tan line. It's not even a farmer's tan. This is, I don't even know what you call it, a basketball jersey tan. That water is so nice. And luckily, they didn't over chlorinate or anything. Usually, whenever you go into pools, if the chlorine level is very, very high, that just tells you that they haven't cleaned it for a while. Because obviously, they start out with a little bit of chlorine, and then every day, as more people jump in, you have to add more chlorine to kill all the bacteria and whatever. Oh man. This is what you call luxury right here. This is nice. And guys, we are literally right in the middle of the hustle and bustle of Manila. I mean, if you was in Cebu, you would expect these types of uh, really high luxurious uh, hotels. They are literally all over the place. If you are in Davao, there's a couple of really nice ones as well. 
But when you're in Manila, it's quite hard to come by these types of hotels where they kind of create an oasis in the middle of the hustle and the bustle of Manila. I mean, if you've been to Manila or if you did any research about Manila, you would know how crazy the traffic is, how busy the city is in general. I'm super glad I ended up booking here. Yes, it's quite expensive. Yes, it's quite expensive. Yes, it's quite expensive. But honestly, if you was here, I suppose, with a group, like maybe three of you, you can share the $600, so $200 each. It's still kind of expensive. Or maybe, honestly, if I was to come here next time, I wouldn't book such a high category. I think usually you get the best deal if you book the lowest quality room in the best hotel. That way you get to enjoy all the facilities, but you don't get to pay the highest price. Uh, but in my case, I ended up booking the best room in the best hotel just because I wanted to experience it and also that way I can go ahead and show you what this experience is like and to be honest with you it's worth every single cent so fortunately I'm about to go ahead and check out in probably the next half an hour or so but I'm just sitting here enjoying this beautiful view of the pool the trees and the ocean behind us and my foot as well <laughs> but what an incredible state it has been man honestly one of the best hotels I've stayed in Manila, in the Philippines, and honestly, probably worldwide. Like, I knew this hotel was renowned for being super beautiful, super luxurious, but I don't think you get to have that idea just from looking at pictures. You really have to come and experience it. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And hopefully, I will see you here maybe sometime in the future, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.